In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create seamless tiles for video games, meaning square tiles that fit together on all four sides. I will also show you how you can make some variations of the tiles and still have them fit together as if it were one big image. I will be using the free open source software called Krita. It is very similar to Photoshop but more suited for painting and animation. So let's start there. I begin with a new canvas and make sure to use a square. In this case I am going with 400 pixels on each side, which is of course a bit big for the sprite that will be used in the game, but of course we can just scale it down before exporting. Then I hit the W key to go into wrap around mode, which becomes quite obvious when I start to draw. The canvas is now duplicated on all four sides endlessly, and I can easily draw lines crossing over. To make things a bit easier, I also hit Shift plus A to select everything, so the original canvas stands out. And now all I have to do is draw. First I make everything black, and then I activate the grid, so the bricks stay somewhat consistent in size. And then I start sketching some bricks. I zoom out and realize <coughs> I made them too squarish, so I adjust them by making them a bit longer. But this is of course just a style choice. The important part, assuming you want to do variations, is to not draw along the edge. It's fine to cross it and even important to not create obvious square patterns, but do it decisively, like don't draw a line that's just exactly parallel to the edge. I get a bit too touchy with the edges in two spots and maybe you can even see it already, so I will adjust that later on. When the sketch is done I add the real color and then I add another layer for light and one more layer for shadow to give them a bit of a three-dimensional form. And then to make things a little bit more interesting I just add some cracks here and there. As I mentioned before, I got a bit too touchy with the edge. The spots I circle in red is what you want to avoid. As I said, it's fine to cross the edge, but do it in a, like a, in a hard angle. Don't just draw almost along the edge. So I use the eraser and adjust the edge of the brick so it doesn't overlap with the edge of the canvas. Then I copy the layer group, meaning everything I've done so far, all the colors and cracks except for the black background. I hide the original and now I use the lasso tool to select around the edge. I try not to touch the edge of the original canvas and slice the bricks cleanly. Then I erase everything selected and copy the layer group a few times. This is now the template for all the tile variations. And I keep the selection on the whole time to make sure I don't paint over the, the new edge that I just created. And now I just repeat the process. I first sketch out the bricks and then I use the color, then some light and some shadows. And I also keep checking the original here and there to avoid getting really thin bricks when placing both variations next to each other. I do make a mistake though, which is not paying enough attention to the light and shadow of the original tile that I kept in my new tile. I should have sketched the new bricks to fit that better. But I learned a lesson and did a better job when making the third variation. And then when everything is done, I save the Krita file, scale the image down to 100 pixels on each side and export all three tiles as PNG files. And then I go into Unity and import these sprites. I create a new tile map, uh, open the palette and drag the sprites onto the palette to create the tile assets. 
Now when I paint around, I can combine any of those three tiles in any way I want. In the next video I am going to show you how you can add this little helper that takes care of the variations for you. You can just paint with one tile, then choose the variations and the frequency that each variation should occur and simply click a button to change the entire tile map until you have something you like. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you have any questions, feedback or suggestions, just leave a comment. Also you would really help me out by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.